My father once told me that when he grows old and gets dementia, I should simply take him to the mountains in the middle of the night and just push him into the river. When I brought it up in a few years during a family reunion, he said he didn't remember saying that to me. The doctor at the hospital told me there was little hope for my child. When I came back to him, I didn't find my child, the doctor, or the hospital. For six days we hid from the angels and fervently prayed. Prayed for our Heavenly Father to withdraw his legion of angels who feasted upon the sinful with needle-like teeth. On the seventh day, God's half-eaten carcass fell from heaven, covered in thousands of bite marks. In the not-so-distant future, cybernetic body part replacements became common, especially for people's eyes degraded as they were by screens. Just make sure you keep up your sight subscription, though, otherwise they may just turn them off. My daughter was so hungry, I secretly gave her a big helping of pancakes, fruit, and ice cream from the cafeteria. Hopefully it'll help her overcome her fear of her surgery this morning. I gasped in horror as my husband removed the blanket from our dining room table, revealing ceramic plates covered with the decapitated heads of every man I've ever loved. You're missing my father, you idiot! I shrieked, slapping my husband across the face for ruining Valentine's Day. The village had a custom where every fifth child was sailed down the stream to learn from the village of the elders. When anthropologists went to investigate the Elder's Village, however, they found the stream abruptly ended in a waterfall with a mountain of children's bones underneath. My stomach dropped as I turned on the TV, desperately trying to see if my son was all right after hearing the local high school was dealing with an active shooter. My fear turned to confusion quickly. Why did every news reporter know him by name? My parents' pact with the devil resulted in the horrific death of my first friend, first crush, first kiss, first child, and everything that's ever mattered. Who was the first to watch this video? Since they said mommy had bone cancer, I knew what my wish would be. Dear Mr. Monkey Paw, please make mommy never die. I was overjoyed to hear from my son, who was on the opposite side of the globe, that our teleportation device was finally operating as it should. However, to be really honest, I'm not sure how I'll muster the strength to murder his original, which is still present in the machine next to me. I absolutely detest children so much so that people in my neighborhood believed I was a kid killer. So I was pretty surprised when my neighbors asked me to babysit their disabled son. Daddy, we found a brown dog. My six-year-old kid called to me while we started setting up our tents on a camping trip. My heart sank as I saw him petting a grizzly bear cub cluelessly. Leave this child's body, you foul demon, the priest chants lashing the young boy with splashes of holy water from which he recoils and screams. Nobody had thought of it then, but it was any kind of water the froth-mouthed boy was terrified of, just like that fox that had bit him weeks prior. My dad told me, not everyone can be a hero, stop trying, after I tried to stop a fight at school. Seeing the neighbor's new electric car on fire and the garden hose in my yard, I think I'm about to prove him wrong. Dementia can develop without warning, often in younger patients. A telltale sign is when reading was as were, sentences sensed to confusing and worse be time goes on. I cried to my father and told him what his best friend had done to me and where he had put his hands. He said I was asking for it by dressing like that.
I finally created my own fully functional AI. Even though a lot of people tried to stop me and kept saying, that's not possible for someone like you. The most astonished person of them all was the software engineer that created me. My twin brother was zombie bit, and though I sobbed as I watched his eyes cloud over, I knew what needed to be done. My sobs became screams as the hacksaw bit into flesh, and I began the task of unconjoining. After the adults had successfully used the teleportation service for 5,000 times, a child was sent through it. After the child disappeared on one side, a note appeared on the other side that read, Second payment received. You can perform 5,000 more teleportations. I will love you forever, Maria, my husband said as he laid dying in the hospital bed. I realized as I watched the playback on my TikTok draft that I had him out of frame, so I shook him awake and asked him to say it again. Welcome to heaven, she said. Everyone you've ever known is here. And all this time we've all been watching everything you do when you're alone. Every other Monday, I check my daughter's weight to make sure her diet is working. Since I won custody, she has finally regained some weight. But weekends with mom are always a setback. When the zombie outbreak happened, the most deaths were on the fifth day. Those deaths were mostly suicides, as it was on the fifth day that the zombies began to recover, and people all across the world realized the friends, relatives, and neighbors they'd killed hadn't been beyond saving. As Ryan followed death into the misty afterlife, he asked, Are you taking me to heaven or hell? Everyone goes to both, death replied, and what you called life was the heaven portion. All my life, my parents told me I was normal, but at 27, my first girlfriend confirmed I was not. When confronted, my parents finally confessed that yes, my circumcision had gone terribly wrong. Hey, you don't get to call my sweet puppy dog that name. Marcus's parents looked in horror at their grown son kneeling leashed at the feet of the angry man who had spoken, the light having left their boy's eyes long ago. My stepdaughter kept claiming to have stomach aches and nausea so often that I started suspecting she was faking it to get attention. After witnessing her throw up a large amount of coffee grounds in the toilet bowl, I had finally all the evidence I needed to ground her, until she confesses. When I got pregnant, I lied to my husband about whose baby it was. Now that I see my son hanging up there on that cross, I fear that my lie may have spiraled out of control. After my 16th year of being unable to transform, my mother growled, You're nothing but a human to us, you disgrace. She turned to my brothers as her teeth grew sharper and howled, What do we do with humans, boys? My wife incorporated some beautiful wild carrots she foraged. That last video has 10.4 million views, and it's still going up. I knew it must have been a mistake when the police said I was involved in aiding a kidnapping. But when they told me they had video proof, I became intrigued. I felt myself go from hero to villain as they played the grocery store footage from hours prior, showing me returning a lost girl to who I thought was her dad. I'm glad my children were having a good time playing in the falling snow outside. But it's a bit odd since we don't usually get snow in Pripyat this time of year. The wise man said to me, Live each day as if it were your last. And yet he seemed so surprised when I shoved him out the window. I ran the swabs for the 100th time. But no matter how much I prayed, no matter how many samples I tested, it would keep telling me the DNA was a match. 
I now knew for sure. Throughout my whole career as a forensic scientist for the police, this computer has given us the wrong result on every single test. You know how we have to poke holes in the containers so the insects can breathe, right? So what about the stars? Sorry, but your application has been rejected. Although your resume included many strengths, your contributions to society were ultimately not enough to earn a portion of our limited oxygen supply. I really need a new mattress, I thought to myself. I rolled back over the lump again, grateful that the baby was finally letting me sleep. When my mom confessed to my dad that I wasn't his, I was relieved to hear he took it so well. He invited me to go on one of his hunting trips that he usually does by himself, and I can't wait to spend more time with him. After my brother suffered a car accident, doctors offered to wire his brain up in a way that he will be thinking he is living a happy life. Unfortunately, I can only afford the cheapest plan where he is at home. Scrolling through memes and mildly entertaining videos. There is a perfect moment after a nuclear explosion where each human will be perfectly cooked. Ever since I gained the ability to pause time, I've been having a feast. When the rapture came, nobody knew whose souls had been taken at first. I didn't even suspect my own wife until she skinned our three children and propped them up in the garden while I was away at work. In one month, I raised my body count from zero to 10, beating my sister easily. Shocked, she explained that wasn't what she was talking about. After 27 years of slumber, it was time to awaken and begin feasting on the town's children. But if this nerdy ass sewer clown doesn't stop stealing my meals, I guess I'll have to eat him as well. Holy shit, they used to let you do that? My grandson exclaimed, looking at the video of me as a child. Time stamped 2023. It was just a video of me and my family at the beach under the bright but bearable sun. James, never let yourself believe that I... My wife whispered on her deathbed as she struggled to take her final breath. Overwhelmed by the moment, I stood up and began shaking her violently. My voice strained as I yelled, Who is this James, you fucking whore? There was hope for my immediate family because we had the genetic markers that kept us invisible to the hordes of zombies. As I stood on my roof and watched another hospital get overrun, I wondered where my parents would fill their life-saving heart medicine prescriptions now. My lucky number was 12. My daughter's, Marie, was 11. And my mom confessed that the number 13 had always seemed to follow her around, ever since childhood. Naturally, I thought it a coincidence. But it was only when Marie told me that my granddaughter was seeing the number 10 everywhere that I realized the possibility of a countdown. Collapsing onto the armchair, still bleeding, unable to eat and barely conscious, I was relieved to finally see a doctor. These symptoms are relatively normal for a woman your age. If they persist, please see me again. Seeing my patient's baby photos after IVF makes me feel very happy as a fertility doctor. Funny how none of the parents ever spot the similarity between me and their offspring. It's 500 for five minutes, no questions asked, the nurse says in the darkness. I've been able to hear everything in this coma, but tonight is the first time I can feel too. In my home, there is a door that shows my town one week in the future. Today, I swung the door open to see the street at Town Square, missing posters wearing my face scattered around walls and telephone poles. 
10 workers trapped under the rubble of a nuclear plant were left for dead, until 30 years later when they began to crawl out of the wreckage. My mom said the only way to get rid of my freckles would be expensive laser surgery. Turns out, Dad's razor works just as well. I forgot to grab something, I'll be right back, said Mom. As she rounded the corner, out of sight, the cashier began ringing up our groceries. Have you ever woken up in a cold sweat, felt immense pressure on your chest, and struggled to breathe? Well, I'm in the same boat, unable to pay my bills this month, and it's suffocating. When my friends showed me the threads that they were using to control me, I knew I had to break free no matter what. Everyone used to say my friend wasn't real and that I should take medicine to get rid of him. But without him, I would have never found these bluish threads inside my arm. I think I used to date her, I said absent-mindedly after I recognized the wrist hummingbird tattoo. Yeah, well, after the war, we eat whatever we can get, my brother said as he bartered with the raider for the arm and other meat. I killed my wife moments before the power finally came back on. I cradled her body and wept, while listening to the news tell people not to panic as a cure for the zombie plague had finally been found. I woke up naked and alone on a dirty mattress in a squalid, empty apartment wrapped in a tattered sheet, my clothing, my wallet, and watch all gone. The last thing I remember was her pouring me a drink and telling me how much she loved to party with sailors. It turns out when you die, you spend a day in hell and a day in heaven, and you get to choose where you stay. After my oddly quick yet very pleasant day in heaven, my mind was already made up, yet I was still forced to spend a day in hell, which apparently is equivalent to a millennium on Earth. My bullies surrounded me, sneering and taunting as they yanked my cap off. I cried and screamed, but they didn't stop as they moved to my other knee. In our most recent research, we've uncovered heightened brain activity at the point of death, particularly within regions linked to dreams and altered states of consciousness. In every case, the AI's reconstruction depicts the patient trapped in a room devoured by raging flames their desperate pleas for help drowned out by the taunting laughter of an unknown presence. Vampires only have two actual weaknesses, silver and the inability to enter a home without permission. Fortunately for us, none of you seem to care enough about the poor or the homeless enough to notice when they start going missing. When I saw my boa constrictor had escaped its cage and gotten into the room where my toddler sleeps, I feared the worst. I was relieved when I burst into the room and saw my daughter, unharmed, playing with the snake, until I saw the apple it was feeding her. Dad always joked that he couldn't live without Mom and hoped they would go out together in some kind of accident but the autopsy report is suggesting she was already dead at least four days prior to their fatal crash. I desperately jumped into the water as my daughter slipped out of my wife's arm and fell into the cold, dark sea. I couldn't do anything but vacantly stare as my wife sailed the yacht away while I clung to the straw doll with my daughter's clothes on. No! If you take me to school, the monsters will kill Daddy! My daughter screamed as I dragged her to the car. I don't know how she can see the demons I summoned, but it's clear that I need to get her out of the way. The ability to stop time made me a very rich and powerful man. But as I sit here, frozen in my last few moments of life, the only thing I fear is time resuming and death finally taking me. 
I have always prided myself in my ability to stay hydrated at all times. However, nowadays, I have been feeling a bit too thirsty, and no matter how much water I drink, it's just not enough. Upon returning from the hospital with bruises, my wife rushed straight to the kitchen to wash the dishes. I hope she's finally figured out what's best for her. I know you want me overweight so nobody looks at me, but I'm trying to be the best version of myself, my girlfriend screamed at me. Looking at her gaunt and emaciated body barely sweating in the scorching sauna, I don't know what I can do to convince her she doesn't need to lose any more weight. I gasped for air, having finished yelling a long string of random, nonsensical words into the wooded canyon below as quick as I could. I carefully checked each word the echo carried back to me against the sequence I had written on my notepad, remarking to myself that it almost got them all right this time. When the machine of death predicted my cause of death to be murder, I fled into the mountains, and with my broken leg caught in a crevice, crows watching my suffering, I don't think that I will return. Finding myself surrounded by zombies and vampires both crawling towards me attracted by the scent of my blood, I thanked our gun laws for the first time as I started shooting them one by one. Totally ruined the Halloween party though. When my infant daughter tumbled into the water, I tried to dive in after her. The park rangers held me back as she shrieked and thrashed, cooked alive by the hot spring. Hell isn't fire and brimstone. It's not beautifully ironic and painfully personal. It's not catered to you specifically. It's not a punishment for your crimes. But trust me, it does exist. And there's nothing here. My mother had tears in her eyes when she told me that her and dad were taking me to Disneyland. But I've been looking for them at this rest stop for the last hour and can't find them. Thinking only of my dying mother, I wished for there to be a cure for cancer. With a confused look, the genie asked why I'd waste my wish on something that already exists. Tied down, I could only watch in horror as my girlfriend was disemboweled. The man turned to me, his face covered in blood and flesh, and with a disgusting smile said, Your turn, sweetheart. I cried to the judge as he told me an appeal wasn't allowed. The AI determined that there was an 80% chance that I committed a murder. The baby cried as I started the operation. I silently cursed it for not keeping quiet for even a minute during the whole day. Imagine the ruckus if it could actually feel pain. High school was a long time ago. I'm a different person than I was then, my bully protested. Her words only steeled my grip as I pressed my cane harder against her withered, liver-spotted neck. My daughter ran crying into my arms. I held her tight, sobbing after the 72-hour ordeal of searching for her. The search and rescue leader came in over the radio as I held her, reporting sadly that they found her corpse. The little boy put a photograph, a toy, and his most recent lost tooth in the box and buried it like the man from his dream had said. He left the crossroads with a shiny new bike, and he didn't even have to give the man anything. My baby Alex is so smart, his first words were numbers, my co-worker gushed as he shoved his iPhone in my face. I watched as his giggling two-year-old turned at the camera and said, zero, one, zero, zero, one, zero, 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 one, one, zero, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, one, zero, one, one, zero, 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 one, 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 zero, 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 zero. I have finally figured out how my channel algorithm works. My videos are shown only to those who are in danger. 
I don't eat meat on Tuesdays, I told my girlfriend as she kept complaining about the cold. So, I must keep you fresh until tomorrow, I explained to her as I closed the freezer door. My dad has never been emotional or said I love you, but today he came to give me a box of all his favorite things. He finally said he loved me and I was able to go to bed tonight happy. Dude, with how many women are you going to have sex tonight? Asked my friend who was walking behind me. As many as I can, I replied as our unit marched towards a remote village to conduct a search operation. I saw these purple flags out at the beach, and I wasn't really sure what they were for. Must be something to do with litter though, because I see a bunch of plastic bags floating around me. Look, Mommy, I found a weird-looking Easter egg, my son said excitedly, racing over to me. My heart dropped into my stomach as I saw him remove the pin from the now-live grenade. My mommy sent me to my room without supper, because I tried to tell her what the pumpkin ghost planned to do tonight. No matter how loud mommy screamed, I stayed in my room like a good girl, and according to the talking pumpkin, good girls don't get harvested. Half of them are pregnant, and this is all because of you. My wife screamed at me in anger. I now realize that I should have listened to my wife when she told me to put male and female dolls in separate boxes six months ago. When I saw the results of my daughter's pregnancy test, I demanded she go out and have sex with a man by Sunday, preferably one that looks like me. You won't get any secrets out of me, I told the interrogator. They taught you how to deal with pain, but they didn't teach you how to deal with fear, he replied as he began pumping carbon dioxide into my bloodstream. Is it a boy or a girl, doctor? I timidly asked the gynecologist while he was staring at the screen. Vade retro satana, mumbled the doctor, pulling a long needle, a cross, and a book. I gently awoke from my midday nap to my husband starting to spoon me. Panic struck when the front door opened, a hand shot over my mouth, and I hear, Honey, I'm home! Heaven has no place for tattoos, the angel told me as I arrived at Heaven's Gate. I panicked and tried to explain how I lost my hair, but he just wouldn't listen. My last thought as a human was wondering why these apex predators didn't rule the whole world. A couple of hours later, my last thought as a vampire was realizing we were no apex predators. The nurse saw the empty newborn's bed and called a code stork over the PA system. I hung my backpack in the locker and took the key, making plans to come back for it before the tranquilizer wore off. I planned a prank on my wife, where I'd have her find me covered in blood. I laid still as she entered, and upon seeing me, she began frantically dialing on her phone saying, It's terrible timing, and didn't I pay for cleanup? Did my girlfriend ever cheat on me? I asked the fortune teller as a joke. My smirk fades away as the crystal ball shows a guy that looks exactly like me kissing my girlfriend in a small apartment that I do not recognize. It's such a short distance, I know I can make it. Running faster and faster than I thought I ever could, the dog still got to my son first. After being obese all my life, I finally had surgery and was able to lose more than 88 pounds. I was prepared for anything except to go from mockery to assault. Daddy, who are all these kids with the weird costumes? My son asked me as we were trick-or-treating. I told him he had an active imagination, before whispering not to let the dead know that he could see them.
My boyfriend always insists I take my glasses off before sex, so last night I decided to fool him by wearing contacts. It was going well until I saw him prop his phone up on the dresser. Here's the plan. Save the world. Be the hero. Get the girl. If there's no threat to make you run, I guess I'll manufacture one. I told the patient his penis and testicles would need to be amputated due to cancer. I know I'm risking losing my medical license, but I just can't let that bastard get away with what he had done to my daughter. The last thing the boy remembered before slipping into the coma was hearing his mother's voice to come inside for dinner. As the beeps of the machines grew noticeable, the old man croaked out, Mommy? Daddy? Where are you? A little bit of sweetness never hurt anyone. I laughed awkwardly as the man drank a third glass. Clearly, I thought, given this fucker seemed to be immune to antifreeze. The Thanos snap erased my child. The next snap suddenly brought my child back, to my now unprepared womb. Red is hot, and blue is cold, I taught my toddler. Daddy, look, our kitchen makes cold fire. They came from afar with a friendly greeting, but we soon saw the horror. They were not here for the meeting. My cat made this cute little squeak when she was sleeping. I froze in horror as I heard it get louder from her urn. Yanked under the bed, the girl had no time to scream before the monster's clawed hand covered her mouth. Be quiet, it whispered in her ear as the masked man entered the room, her parents' blood dripping from his knife. <laughs> 